Matt here, Atlas Precision Consultant, continuing talking about job contracts. Uh, now, I have a sales order uh, up here. Um, if you didn't see our video on creating job contracts and the settings up, I recommend you go watch those videos first. Uh, now, to start off with, you'll see this contract number field here. If you have your customers set up to only allow one contract uh, per order, um, or if you are required your customer to use a contract, um, you would have to fill this in, or you can always double click on here and it will show you all of the available contracts for this customer ship to combination. Um, and if so, if you selected this and you have your customer set up to only allow to use one job contract, whichever one you select here is the ones that it would do the pricing from, but we're not going to do that because I have this customer set up to allow me to use multiple contracts. Cause I want to show you guys a couple different things. Um, so start off with, I'm going to put uh, an item on here that I know is only on one job contract. I put a quantity in here, a couple things that happened. One, obviously my unit price got pulled in over here. Now you'll notice that it pre-filled in this contract number. Now with the contract that this came from, it's a little misleading. It doesn't mean every item that we're going to add on here is going to come from that contract. It just happened to be the first contract that I used or first contract and an item I used on here was from. So that's why it's auto populated that in. And if you're ever curious on, if you have multiple lines, maybe from different contracts and you want to know where they come from, if you go to the prices tab down here, it'll tell you right away, this came from this contract and it's from this contract line. So that way, if you do have a contract that has hundreds of items on it and you can see, oh, this came from line 230, it makes it a little bit easier to find. Plus you can always filter in the job contract. Now, the other thing I want to show you is what happens if I enter in an item that is on multiple contracts, uh, because again, I have this customer set up to allow for multiple contracts. Uh, so I'm going to come in here and I'm going to put an item that I know is on multiple contracts and you'll notice a new window pops up. It's going to say, Hey, this, this is on multiple contracts. Which contract do you want to use? Now what you'll see displayed is going to be, um, the line detail from the job contract. It's really just information to allow you to make the decision on which one you want to use. In this case, I have both of these set up as price and I see one has it for 50 cents and one has it for 65 cents. I'm going to, you know, pick the 65 cent one. So you have to select it down here. You can double click on it or you can click on it and click. Okay. And the reason I wanted to pick that one is because I wanted to show you, um, that even though this still up here shows that this order is using test contract one. If I click on this bolt, which was the one I picked from a different contract, go to the prices tab, you'll see that it is, this one's actually coming from contract three. Um, so again, it can be a little misleading, uh, but if you guys have questions about this or other topics, put a comment down below, make sure you like and subscribe. And as always, Atlas is here for your P21 needs.